Ladies and gentlemen, what's going on? Once again, we're boy Neff from Neff's Tech Bits. And man, back before I had children, this was the room to be. And I'd come home, I'd run down here, I'd check my downloads, I would check all my sites, and then I'd spend the rest of the day browsing the Reddits, trying to figure out what was going on in this crazy world. And this over here was where I hoarded all of my data. About 10 terabytes, burning Hollywood down, and listening to music. Now, don't get me wrong, I do buy a lot of music, and I do purchase a lot of videos but there's a lot I also do not and I download them all right here well I did I did anyways I had about 10 terabytes and uh, then I had kids and then things changed so let's talk a little bit about data hoarding because that's definitely what I was doing here now these days this is my setup that I'm rocking I mean you got kids and you gotta make room you gotta make space for everything right that's what I'm saying got my Sailor Moon dollies locked up got my uh, microphone I can talk to myself with all day and got my laptop with the Western Digital Passport which is where I'm doing most of my data hoarding it should be said that external hard drives are usually the beginning of uh, the data hoarding experience that's uh, no different from me I went out, I bought uh, external hard drives, I made sure they were Western Digital, and I uh, put them in cases. These days, Western Digital makes their own cases with hard drives in it. Because of this, shucking is a big deal. Everybody likes Western Digital, and a lot of people do not like Seagate. Back in the day, it used to be Mac Store everyone used to avoid, uh, unless they didn't have much money, and they just wanted the space and weren't too worried about it. But seriously... Uh, when it comes to data hoarding, the data hoarders prefer Western Digital and they avoid Seagate. There was a big debacle a long time ago when Seagate made hard drives that were so fast and they shut down so fast that they uh, they didn't actually save data and data automatically went missing. Those were 750 gigabyte hard drives. So I'm not sure if Seagate is still having a problem but maybe people are just kind of remembering the bad times with them. But let's act like this is a Western Digital a Western Digital uh, external hard drive developed by them. The next thing I want to talk about is hard drive shucking. Hard drive shucking is something that a lot of data hoarders do because they can find Western Digital drives within these external cases that they can pop out and use for cheaper than they would just going out and getting a Western Digital hard drive. And no one can quite explain why it's cheaper to do this, but it is very popular. And it's just like clam shucking. You, uh, you get your knife, let's just say this is a knife, and you're like, Oh, you kind of stab it around the corners and pop, pop, pop. You get the tabs to pop out. No Phillips head screws. Pop. Oh, and you open it up and then you get your hard drive. Your beautiful Samsung. I mean Western Digital. Your beautiful Western Digital hard drive. And then you pop that sucker out. Pop. Just like that. Now, the next thing that you have to do as a shucker is to take care of one of these pins because a lot of these hard drives that you get on the inside of the cases they're specifically made to be within these cases and there is an automatic slowdown feature that uh, a motherboard actually if, if this was real you would have to re remove a second motherboard or daughter board i suppose and that daughter bo board would basically make sure if i understand this right that the hard drives spin down back in the day these drives used to be on pretty much all the time spinning 24 7 the problem with spinning 24 7 is that there's physical things within these hard drives that will wear down and will break just like a car you get so many miles on it it's not going to work for the most part a computer isn't like that but the fans and the hard drives within it actually have ball bearings and spinning things with on within the inside of them that we need to um consider so in these hard drives that we have to shuck there's a daughter board that powers them down so they don't move so much and then what you have to do is the third pin over the third pin over you either have to take that pin out or you have to uh, put a piece of non-conductive tape over top of it and then that will let you take your hard drive and put it into the computer or into your server and then you would have a, uh, a, a storage array whatever kind of array that you want but for the beginners the external hard drives don't even shuck them just uh, plug them in and away you go geez you can get eight gigabyte systems without much of a problem at all so that's the dealio about hard drive shucking and data hoarders. They're out there. They exist. I hope to meet one so that I can go out, get a bunch of 8 terabyte hard drives, and share with them this information, this knowledge that I have. 
The basics of this, I also think, as a hard drive hoarder, or at least as a previous uh, data hoarder, is information should be free, or at least information should be much more free than it is right now. We could come a long way if we could, uh, for example, lessen the copyright on certain drugs, on certain medical applications. Not all of them, because we do need money to advance stuff. But for example, let's talk about Pharma Bro for a second. Everybody knows about Pharma Bro. An individual who bought a... Uh, a medicine that was supposed to help people and keep them away from HIV or at least help them in some way or another. This would reduce suffering in humankind and he took it and he cranked the price 5,000 percent and he ended up getting busted for something else but what he did was completely legal but what he did was completely unreasonable at the same time. It doesn't make sense. It's universally stupid man and uh, right now insulin the price of insulin is through the freaking roof because of uh, copyrights. And this isn't because of copyrights of the insulin itself. It's because of a copyright of a javelin within the unit. Nobody else seems to be helping with this stuff. No so we have, we have, so in Canada, it costs so much money to get this stuff. And in USA, it costs five times as much. This stuff was created, insulin was created at the turn of the 19th century. 18th century and it was released for three cents the individual that created it wanted people to have it to reduce suffering but because of the rampant consumerism that we have right now um, combined with capitalism capitalism isn't necessarily a bad thing but too much of anything can be a bad thing but still the capitalism we have now is nowhere near as bad as uh, communism would be on the other side but we can't say just because it's better than communism that uh, that it is the way to go because when we get issues like pharma bro we know beyond a shadow of a doubt that there is an issue with that. Pharma bro shouldn't be where he is. We shouldn't have these problems with insulin, but we do. It's freaking sickening, and we do. Freedom of information all the way across the board. Because of uh, this data hoarding, We uh, the prices of a lot of stuff are actually coming down. But I bet all data, data hoarders wouldn't agree with me there. But I bet you the lion's share of them would. I'm putting politics in with data hoarding now. Sorry about that, but that's uh, that's how I personally feel about it, and that's what got me onto it in the first place. Uh, things need to change, ladies and gentlemen, and because of data hoarders, because of people jumping on Napster to download tunes, we can buy a single song that we want without having to pay an ex existential price, an unbelievable price, for a whole CD. And uh, that's freaking great, ladies and gentlemen. That's great. Things are reasonable. The recording industry doesn't need all the money. Because you know all that money that uh, we pay for those CDs? You know how much of it was actually going to the artists? Not very much. Not very much. Anyways, that's it for me, folks. Snap from Nef's Tech Bits. Have a good one. And take care of each other. Keep on shucking, ladies.